Good morning and welcome back. We are back at Quail Lake. The sunrise is supposed to be in just a couple of minutes, although the uh, looks like there's cloud cover out there. We'll see what we get, but that might actually give us a little bit of just softer light, I guess. But we're here on the dam side of the lake, facing about due west right there. That is Pike's Peak up there, right in there. I had a couple shots from the other morning that I liked, but that I think I can improve upon, so we'll try to do that today. One of them was a shot from over in this direction, facing, uh, I guess that's south, due south, and uh, just couldn't quite get the horizon level of the lake to get that uh, mirror image exactly done up but you could certainly fix that in post crop in just a little bit and tilt the image ever so slightly then there was one over there of a nice looking uh, piece of scrub oak gambles oak a really big one and then there was one through a set of trees looking back at the mountains over here so it was through a set of trees and up the mountains Let's see what we can Come up with this morning first shot of the day here straight out of camera no no touch-ups tried to do the classic split the image with the reflection and I got it lined up a lot better than I did yesterday I wasn't off too bad yesterday but I think yesterday's shot right here with the paddle border in the mix kind of gives it a little bit more character with that kind of just a breakup of the symmetrical reflection again you could probably just fix that in post slight crop slight rotation these next three are again straight out of camera no touch up no correction another play on the horizon line with just a little more stuff going on again trying to get that water and tree line right in the middle of the frame horizontally and then trying to kind of shoot through the trees into the mountain and then kind of got the bank on the lower right just kind of trying to throw a bunch of elements into that photo maybe too much there may be no true subject per se and then here with that sun started to come through i decided to back up and kind of frame that tree on the left and kind of do the same shot but from further back with a vertical shot and i know yet again just playing with that reflection and trying to put that horizontal line right in the middle of the frame it's a little easier to do on a tripod that vegetation coming out of the water in the lower left I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it almost looks like a almost looks like an accident tell you what having the tripod and using HDR though that's that's where it's at we got a cormorant right over here he's over there he's like flapping his wings drying out maybe I don't know Maybe it's a, rating, a mating ritual, but I don't have enough zoom lens to get in on them very well. Or her. Him or her. And just taking a couple shots of that cormorant here, trying to play with the reflections in the water a little bit. So if I didn't say so before, I'm using the HDR feature on the camera since I got the tripod. I can just put it on the tripod where it's nice and still. And then I'm shooting three over, even, and three under. So that's the, uh, that's the biggest choice you get on the Canon 6D. Three shots, I can go one, two, or three stops over and under. So I'm, I'm going three to try to get that dynamic range. Again, playing with the reflection of the water, I was trying to symmetrically do that bent tree that's hanging out over the water with its reflection underneath of it, kind of, kind of like a backward C. Well, that's really actually more like a parabola, isn't it? But then I thought that tree coming out of the water on the left was kind of, kind of gave it just a little bit of extra character. Or maybe it looks out of place. So this is that gnarly gambles oak I was talking about, aka scrub oak. And these photos are touched up a bit. 
So here's I kind of framed it to the left third of the the image in a vertical shot, more of a squarish crop, and then centered it here, which is also fairly nice. But then I thought this would probably just go best black and white. That looks nice. I like it. Well, I got some shots I definitely like. I don't know if they're pictures or photographs, but uh, we'll see when I get them out on the computer, see what they actually turned into. That was my second time out at Quail Lake, and the first time I didn't have my tripod, so I was kind of limited on the shots I could take or wanted to take. So I need to just start taking my tripod anyway. It's tiny, it's little, it's, it's sitting right there, it's under that camera. And kind of that's the only way to really get a long, a good long exposure or the HDR, the three shot HDR. So anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down there. And as always, thanks for watching.